If you've been running Google ad campaigns for a while, there's probably a really good chance that you've noticed that your cost per click prices are not the same as they were when you first started. With more and more businesses moving away from traditional media and traditional advertising and moving that budget online with online media and online advertising, the demand in the Google Ads auction place is continuing to rise as more and more advertisers are competing with you and bidding on the same keywords, trying to capture that attention of those searchers looking for that specific product or service. With this increased demand and shortage of supply, what happens is the auction place is getting more and more competitive, driving the cost per click prices higher and higher. In today's video, I really wanna show you how you can lower your Google Ads cost per click and the best way to approach that. Hey guys, Silvio Perez here from Ad Conversion, helping you solve your lead generation problems and grow your business with digital advertising. If you're new here, make sure to click on that subscribe button down below and all the links I mentioned and resources in this video, you can find in the description box down below as well. Now I wanna show you how to lower your Google Ads cost per click, but I wanna really say, cause I need this, this needs to be said cause it's really important because I think we get so caught up in things that we cannot control. And when it comes to your Google Ads cost per click, yes, you can do things to lower it, but ultimately, in my opinion, I think focusing all your attention and energy on just trying to lower your Google Ads cost per click is really a losing game. And the reason why is because you cannot control the Google Ads auction place. As more and more businesses move from offline to online and they start investing more dollars on Google Ads and they start competing on the same keywords as you, prices are gonna rise and you cannot control the marketplace. So yes, there are things we can do to lower our cost per click and I'm gonna talk about that, but I think you're better off focusing the majority of your attention in addition to lowering your cost per click on really what's gonna allow you to position your business for long-term success and ultimately not even worry about what the cost per click price is and just dominate your competition and that's increasing the lifetime value of your customer. If you can acquire there's a whole saying, I believe Dan Kennedy said it, but he said, he who can afford to spend the most to acquire a customer wins. And it's so true. You can't control the auction place. You can't control cost per click prices, whether it's Google, Facebook, or anything. That's out of your control. Yes, there's things you can do to mitigate and to reduce and to get the edge, but ultimately prices will rise over time. But what you can control completely is the lifetime value of your customer. So increasing the lifetime value of your customer, increasing repeat purchases, increasing transaction size, increasing the frequency of purchase, that's things that are in your control that you can do to make sure that when you acquire a customer, it is exponentially more profitable for you. So for example, if me and you are competing against each other, and we're both doing the same things to lower our costs per click and even the playing field. But if a customer is worth to you $100 and a customer is worth to me 1000 I can afford to spend up to $1,000 to break even on acquiring that customer and you can only afford to go up to $100. So by really focusing on increasing the customer value, the lifetime value of that customer, that's gonna allow you to be able to invest more money in these advertising platforms and outspend your competition because as prices increase, all the businesses out there that are just focusing on the Google Ads cost per click prices and all these little hacks and tricks, they're gonna, they're gonna die, they're gonna lose. Because if this other business is focusing on increasing their customer value, it doesn't matter to them if the cost per lead is 100 or $10. As long as their customer value is 1,000, they know they can break even there and they can, they can invest so much more to acquire that customer. So yes, cost per click prices matter. Yes, you should improve it. Yes, it's important. But ultimately what's more important is your business. Your business is the most important thing and the value of your customer and how you can provide more value to your customers is more important. We get so caught up in Google ads, Facebook ads, YouTube ads that we forget these things are to support our business, not for it the other way around. We, we treat Google ads and Facebook ads as our business, and we put so much energy into things outside of our control versus shifting our perspective to 
increasing the value of our customers, providing them more value, offering new products, offering new solutions, and increasing that lifetime value. Now with that being out of the way, when it comes to reducing your Google Ads cost per click, in order to understand how to reduce it, you have to understand how it works. So your ad rank, which determines how you get placed on the Google Ads results page, whether you're in the top spot, second spot, bottom spot, the way that's calculated is it's your max cost per click bid times your quality score. So we want to lower our cost per click prices, meaning we want to spend less per click. There's only one variable of this equation that we can manipulate, and that's the quality score aspect. Because we don't want to increase our bids, right? We want to pay less per click. So the only thing we can do to, to reduce our cost per click price is to increase our quality score. Because if I have a higher quality score and a lower bid, I can still outrank someone with a higher bid and a much lower quality score. Quality score is comprised of three things. Number one is your ad relevance. How relevant is your ad to your keywords? Number two is your landing page experience. How relevant is your ads to your keywords to your landing pages? That's also what is called message match, when your keyword ad and landing page all align. And then number three is your expected click-through rate. How often does Google perceive your ads are gonna be clicked on? And that one is the one that's least in your control, but there are things you can do to improve it. Now let's get into how you can improve each individual piece of quality score so that way you can improve your quality score overall and reduce your cost per click prices. Also, you can go into your columns if you click modify columns in your Google Ads account and you go to quality score and then from there you can check to enable ad relevance, expected click through rate, and landing page experience. And then from there you'll be able to see which one is hurting your quality score overall the most so that way you can implement one of these strategies that I'm gonna talk about to improve one of those variables. Number one is ad relevance. When it comes to improving ad relevance, the way you do that is making sure that you have your ad groups nice and tight, you don't have a lot of keywords in there, and that your ad groups are relevant to each other. So you have relevant keywords and relevant ad groups, as well as making sure you're using those keywords in those ad groups in your ad copy, that way your keyword and your ad copy aligns very well. So if you have low ad relevance, chances are you probably have too many keywords in your ad groups or you just need to make sure to break out those keywords into their own ad groups because they're just a little bit too different from each other. That way you can make sure you have relevant ad copy so you can have higher ad relevance. Number two is landing page experience. If you notice you have a below average landing page experience, the most likely thing is you're not maintaining that message match, meaning your keywords, ads, and landing pages aren't lining up. So if you're bidding on the keyword Miami Dentist and in your ad copy, you have the keyword Miami Dentist, but then when they go to your landing page, you're talking about Chicago Dentist, that's gonna hurt your landing page experience. So you want to make sure everything's congruent. You're using the keywords you're bidding on on your landing pages. Don't just stuff the keywords on your landing pages to have them there. They got to make sense, but make sure that your keywords are on your landing page so people know they're in the right spot. Unbounce has an amazing tool when it comes to giving recommendations on how to improve your landing page. Uh, I'll go ahead and link that in the description box down below, but just go ahead and put in your landing page there and they're gonna spit out a whole bunch of recommendations that can help you improve your landing page experience and that are gonna help you increase your quality score on the Google Ads side of things. Last but not least, number three is expected click-through rate. If you notice your expected click-through rate is the number one thing hurting your quality score, it's below average. I just wanna say it's actually very normal. Of all the accounts I audit, expected click-through rate is usually the number one culprit hurting account-wide quality score. And when it comes to expected click-through rate, a lot of it is out of your control, but there are best practices to follow. And all expected click-through rate is, again, is just Google's perception on how often they think your ad is gonna get clicked. So when it comes to improving expected click-through rate, best practices to follow is number one, be testing ads on a continuous basis. By just incrementally improving your click-through rates, again and again through these ad tests, that's gonna improve your overall account-wide click-through rates and that's gonna raise your expected click-through rate. The other thing as well is using ad extensions. By using ad extensions, you're gonna make your ads larger, you're gonna provide more information to the searcher, Google's gonna favor you for it, and by that, your click-through rate's gonna go higher because you're providing more information to the searcher, your ads are larger, they're gonna get clicked on more often, click-through rates will rise, Again, expected click-through rate will rise as well, improving your quality score. So again, ad testing, ad extensions, and then the third one is using negative keywords. The, the less irrelevant impressions you can show up for, the better. Because if you're showing up for a thousand impressions and 90% of them are junk, 
that's hurting your overall click-through rate. So by using negative keywords and reducing those irrelevant impressions is also gonna help improve your expected click-through rate as well. To recap, when it comes to lowering your cost per click, you have to focus on improving your quality score. Quality score is comprised of ad relevance, landing page experience, and expected click-through rate. When it comes to improving your ad relevance, you wanna make sure you're grouping your, your ad groups correctly, relevant keywords, making sure that you're using your keywords in your ad copy. When it comes to landing page experience, maintaining that message match, use the Unbounce program I mentioned to get insights on how you can further improve your landing page. And number three, when it comes to expected click-through rate, making sure you're testing ad copy religiously, using ad extensions, and really implementing negative keywords to not only block obviously irrelevant searches, but irrelevant impressions. If you like the video, if you can give the video a thumbs up, that would help out a ton. And if you're interested in learning more about Google Ads and you wanna learn how to launch successful Google Ad campaigns to generate more leads for your business, I highly recommend you check out my free training at adconversion.io forward slash launch training. On this training, I talk about does Google Ads work? Why Google Ads? Is Google Ads right for you? as well as my seven step launch process for launching Google ad campaigns and the common traps to avoid that really cause people to burn their money and not have the success they're looking for with Google ads. Thanks so much for watching. And again, if you're not subscribed, be sure to subscribe down below and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.